dressed to impress tonight. <laughs> All right, we've got Michaela Salazar here. Now you're up for top individual female award. What does this honor mean for you? Uh, it would mean a lot to me, considering it's out of everybody in Spokane. That's a lot of people. All right, we've got Barb Silby with us. You were modeling on the runway. What are you wearing tonight? <laughs> I'm wearing the dress from my son's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and who dropped you off? Uh, my car. It's right there over you go. there. There you go. <laughs> What do you think of the awards ceremony so far? Of course, we're walking on the red carpet. How cool is that? Um, obviously, we're underdressed, <laughs> and I was misinformed it was going to be such a nice event, and it looks pretty good. Just talk about your thoughts coming into tonight. Um, you know, it's just a great opportunity just to be here around, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people around this community, and um, it's pretty tight, you know, and I'm, I'm excited. Against all odds, what, do you, what can you say about your backstory in a couple of sentences? Hard, tough, and now successful. I mean, uh, I'm just, I'm just happy to be here right now. <laughs> Talara Frost, thanks for joining us, Coach. First of all, great season for you guys. Thank you. Just talk yeah. about that season. Thanks for having me. Oh, we had a great season. You know, it was a good time. Um, didn't quite finish the way we hoped to, but to make it to state is pretty remarkable anytime, especially your first year as a head coach. So, did the girls come out and support you tonight? I don't know. I didn't oh. tell them really. <laughs> I think a few of them found out, but I don't know if any of them are here or not. First year of this event, what do you think about this? It's pretty cool for the kids. Yeah, this is awesome. I mean, especially for the kids, you can't beat this, you know. Um, I'm a big fan of Ashley Peterson from Mount Spokane. You tweeted that out already. Yes, I did. Um, but what a great way to showcase the youth sports in Spokane. I mean, this is this is pretty awesome. If they don't feel special, I don't know what does, you know. I don't know. I'm just really excited to see what happens. Well, we have the man of the hour, Brett Rippin. Brett, you have it's fun so far working up this red carpet. Oh yeah, I mean this is awesome. I mean Spokane having an event like this is just great. You know, I don't think we've ever had anything like this before, especially for I mean high school athletes. So you know, this is just really exciting to be down here, and it's going to be a great night. I can already tell. Okay, Central Valley Soccer, tell us what you guys just pulled up in. Oh, it's a Hummer limo. <laughs> you having fun so far tonight? Uh, a ton of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. What'd you guys roll up on? You got some pretty good transportation wheels here. Yeah, we just rolled up on our longboards. We just figured it'd be more fun than driving. How did that work out on the carpet? Huh? Not too bad? Not too bad, no. Made it work, yeah. Sam Poston, thanks for joining us tonight. You having fun so far? Yeah, there's a lot more people here than I thought there was going to be. What do you think of the red carpet? I like it. It's a nice touch. I thought it was fun. Makes Tom, it a little more exciting. You're a finalist for a big award. Just talk about that, what you've accomplished this year. Um, it was a pretty big deal for me. Um, I play lacrosse, and so that's kind of tough in Spokane, you know, a non-school sport. Uh, and I signed to play college uh, lacrosse in college in Division Two, so that was another big thing. And this is just kind of bringing me up to the next level. It's one more exciting thing after the other. Okay, we have the U High slow pitch softball team, undefeated season for you guys. Great one for you. Yeah, it was really great. It was the second year in a row actually that we were defeated, so I think we're all pretty pumped about that too. So you guys are pumped to be here tonight. Yeah. 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 Sierra Bezicek's on the red carpet. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having us. You excited for tonight? Yeah, so excited. So a lot going on. It's Phenomenal season for you. Oh, Talk thank you. It. Um, I guess state was just like the final, the final go. Um, I didn't play as well like my last day, but we pulled it out as a team, and it was just mm -hmm. an awesome experience. What did this year feel like for you? Uh, this year was pretty surreal for me, to be honest, because you know my sophomore year I put up some pretty good numbers, but you know our, our team, our record wasn't very good. We were four and six still. So, you know, the main goal for this year was just to win a lot of games and, you know, just seeing the way our team came together, you know, making it to the semifinals of the state, going, winning 11 games is something we've never done at Shadow Park. So, you know, it was just a really fun season. I'm looking forward to, you know, doing it again next year. What would it mean to you guys if you guys did take home these honors? It would be really cool because it's something new and I never had an opportunity to go for something cool like this. And, I don't know, it would be something fun and new. I like it. Ashley? I just think it would be really fun and honored. We overcame a lot of stuff. We had a lot of internal issues, and everyone on the team just kept pushing the entire season. We knew exactly what we wanted to do, so I think we deserve to be here. You know, when you come away with the state championship as a team, like, it's going to be a special year. We made it back to nationals, got eighth, and, you know, it was just a solid year. A lot of young guys really, you know, came through for us, and hopefully next year will be even better for these guys. What's this award mean would mean to you if you won? Well, it's... I was nominated as one of the female coaches and I'm just so honored that our sport is even a part of this mix and um, adaptive sports and wheelchair basketball in particular so it's a real honor to be even considered as part of this. Yeah, it would be, it'd be really amazing. I know the other guys I'm going up against and what they've done so it's, uh, it's just 
I'm amazed that I was even you know a finalist for this. So it'd be really cool if I got like female athlete of the year. I don't know. I would just I'd be really happy just in general. What do you think sets yourself apart, of course, in the non high school category? Um. Well, I'm not quite sure. I've been in nationals three times, sub one state three times. That's no big deal. Nationals three <laughs> times. Oh, give yourself some credit, bud. I guess it's just like hardships and going through what you have to go through every day and just pushing forward and not giving up. What's better, this, getting dressed up for this, or prom? For me, probably this, so I don't have to spend all day, <laughs> but everyone else probably thinks prom. Well, I didn't go to prom, so probably this. Uh, I probably like this better, you know, because you're here. <laughs> oh, man. Um, well, it's less awkward because I don't have to like pretend I know how to dance, so that's that's exciting. <laughs> that's good, no dancing. Of course, this is the year of the selfie, so let's get ready. Let's all take a selfie, all right? Ready? All right, guys, smile. Ready? ready? Sorry, try to get in. Ready? Ready? 